everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we have dishita with us she has recently got converted from intern to full time at google so huge congratulations on that to you thank you yeah and we we will so if you could describe how the conversion process at google works okay so um, in uh, in the initial week or one or two weeks only we are introduced with a conversion uh, recruiter we are assigned a conversion recruiter to each one of us and we are also divided into a pool of uh, interns under one uh, uh, recruiter so uh, so uh, the first question which we were asked is whether we we are eligible for uh, getting converted or not so uh, because uh, like there were some rules on the basis of which like if you are uh, fitting in, into those rules so we will be able to join uh, like apply be eligible for the like conversion um and there were two main uh, processes throughout the way which was actually uh, like spearheaded by the recruiter one was the uh, midpoint evaluation and one another one was the uh, the final evaluation so uh, but uh, the good thing was in both those evaluation we could also uh, we were Uh, even evaluating ourselves so not only our uh, uh, host or co-host were reviewing our performance so at those time and giving us feedback so that we can uh, improve after the midpoint evaluation and do better in the uh, like next 3 months so but we were also writing our own uh, thoughts of our performance so we were able to introspect uh, ourselves okay. and understand like what what are the things which we are lacking on and we were also able to get some good feedback during that uh, time mm-hmm. so uh, this two were the most important uh, processes the second one being the uh, main one which was uh, like ensuring whether we are getting uh, we're getting converted or not that is the final uh, evaluation is the one uh, like which matters uh for the conversion um and uh, throughout the conversion process i guess uh, the recruiters are like quite helpful like uh, they keep us updated on a lot of uh, stuff uh, in the group also in uh, like also the intern team helps a lot uh, through their uh, message mails and all so yeah. it was quite a transparent uh, process and like uh, we didn't have to like uh, search for information here and there we were able to get it all because it was all documented the entire process of what we can expect during the conversion what we should do so that we uh, we have better chances of uh, getting converted so all of these are already made available so it is a very uh, transparent process yeah i can also say that so and also let us discuss about the work culture at google so like how would you describe the work culture at google so far okay so um yeah so i think the work uh, work culture is quite good because there is uh, because we are allowed to bond with our team uh, very well so in the first uh, two one or two weeks i was very hesitant to ask uh, questions uh, like thinking that they will sound silly or what if i am not able to uh, get those permissions uh, like uh, the permission errors sorted and should i ask uh, like the team or not but um, like uh, we were able to get quite uh, include included in our team during those lunch breaks and those uh, like uh, uh other meet and greet sessions yeah. with other teams and also it became quite comfortable after uh, one or two weeks that we can ask our questions it is uh, like even if it is silly it will get answered because we have also just joined Mm-hmm. as in turn so the uh, and uh, one more important thing was uh, the flexible uh, timings so mm-hmm. uh, it was never that it will be a uh, like 9 uh, to 5 uh, office hours it depends yeah. upon how uh, how you are able to uh, achieve uh, the, like uh, give those deliverables so it does not uh, so it is not fixed timing you can uh, work according to your uh, like uh, uh like according to how you want things to be done so that is uh, that is a very good point in google where like employees are given flexible uh, working hours and uh, and um, not only not only does it uh, like ensure that employees are delivering well but um, like employees feel more valued as well in the uh, company because yeah. we feel that we can take we are accountable for our own work Uh, mm-hmm. like nobody uh, nobody else is pressurizing um, us to give it now and now uh, only or within mm-hmm. this deadline we actually uh, keep fix our own deadlines of when we when we can come up with the work and then we uh, check whether we are able to reach uh, like uh, fulfill mm-hmm. those commitment of uh, delivering those things within that deadline so the uh, work culture is quite uh, flexible and i think it is also very team oriented and collaborative so 
i found the work culture very good at google yeah yeah so uh, oh. for me during the internship food was the best part at google uh, what was your favorite part during the internship okay so for me i think the games were the best part like uh, because the office did not look uh, like a uh, professional like it it did not look mm. so much pro, like profe- uh, so much like a professional setting it was just like we are uh, we are coming we are doing our work we uh, we brainstormed things we got things done we took feedback we are implementing things back at home if we are if if we can so uh, uh, i think the like game created an atmosphere that i um, like i had never uh, played foosball before <laughs> i had uh, never ever uh, yeah. like, uh, played uh, those um, other some of other arcade games which are there in ananta mm-hmm. office so like uh, those always uh, gave a sense of uh, like refreshing atmosphere that after a like after a very hard day of work where we have to do a, submit a lot of uh, pull request and all so we can actually uh, like uh, sit there stress free play some games and there was also the massage chair uh, yeah. which was available so those are very good uh, like like refreshing activities and uh, even like uh, in the ananta office like we had four zones on each of the uh, floor so the red green um, blue and yellow zones so uh, those zones were itself quite large and the meeting rooms uh, names were also uh, like very quirky and uh, like those also like uh, had we had us laughing laughing at some of the meeting room names mm. so and also the design uh, of the office is very vibrant so it yeah. looks very good to the eyes so i was happy mm. the minute i entered uh, the building every day even if, even if i had a sleepless night so i was happy the moment i entered the building because i i knew like i was going to uh, be happy seeing those vibrant colors and yeah. those games and all and um, so that was my favorite part the arcade games that's great uh, let us discuss about uh, some preparation and skills so like how important do you think soft skills are if you are working at google or knowing any other software engineering job uh soft skills are very important they are as important as uh, the dsa uh, skills during the interviews because if you are able to uh, like actually express your thought process of approaching a pro- uh, problem statement beforehand so you'll always get a get an upper hand during the actual problem solving because the interviewer will be able to uh, understand what you are actually thinking and will be also able to guide you through uh, through your problem solving approach but if you if you just sit quiet and uh, just uh, think that okay i'll be uh, approaching the problem this way this is the brute force this is the optimized approach the interviewer will not be able to interact with you so the yeah. main thing they test during the interviews or uh, as well as uh, during uh, when we come up with solutions during our internship is that how are we able to express uh, like our uh, thought process okay. what what research have we uh, done uh, on the stuffs which they explained how how well did we understand the requirements so ex- uh, communication is an, a very important uh, skill uh, along with dsa so a software engineer is not only uh, like expected to um, like uh, work technically that uh, that person should also, also be able to express their uh, thoughts mm-hmm. well so that the clients understand so that other people yeah. can understand and provide their uh, inputs so that the task gets completed uh, in a comprehensive manner in on also in a fast yeah. manner so um, and also another soft skill which i would like to highlight is uh, time management uh, because uh, sometimes we have a lot of work at hand and we are not able to understand which one to prioritize first uh, so uh time management is very important uh, that we should not keep uh, doing the same work through two to three days which if you are not able to do it in uh, one uh, like one complete uh, seating in which we are very much focused in that work so we should understand that we are lagging uh, some information there and we should uh, like talk to a person who had who has more uh, knowledge about this or a person who has developed uh, those features so that yeah. we ca- we do not uh, like uh, constrain ourselves by understanding uh, like the nitty gritties of those uh, feature but we are able to move on with our uh, like what we are supposed to do hmm. so uh, 
that is important so we should juggle between uh, like um, asking questions or reaching out to other members and also trying it out ourselves or actually taking up some other work which is uh, less in priority to the work which we are doing but um, like also dedicate some one two hours to that work also so both the works progress simultaneously yeah. so yeah this is what i would say yeah i think uh, these both Uh, the two skills communication and time management are really very important even if you are working as an intern somewhere or a full time also yeah. uh, like what skills and technologies help you most during your internship uh so i i guess uh, like my team was uh, actually very much um, matched uh, to my uh, like skills b- before uh, like mm-hmm. internship so uh, my uh, focus was on web development and uh, the work which i got uh, assigned in my team was also very much uh, related to web development both the front end and back end so uh, there were some uh, like uh, code structures which were new to me in uh, google uh, yeah. which uh, which i had to research on because uh, they are not used so much in uh, like daily daily life or daily coding so it is used in industry uh, coding or in google specifically uh, but i guess uh, yeah so uh, i already had some ideas of the uh, like work uh, like uh, the tech stack which i was given but um, it was uh, still uh, a way it was still not so uh, rela- uh, like relatable to me because uh, there were a lot of uh, like uh, changes which google has uh, made uh, to actually reach their industry level uh, standards so uh, even though people would have ideas about uh, front end and back end development in those languages which google uh, like which i worked on in my team but uh, still uh, they would need to uh, like understand many things in depth so that we don't get lots of <laughs> comments on our mm-hmm. uh, prs mm-hmm. that you should have used this instead of uh, this it would be more uh, fitting in uh, this so um, i guess those are uh, helpful also those comments are helpful also mm-hmm. in the initial because we are not aware of everything under the cloud at uh, google so like mm-hmm. what are the syntaxes and all so uh, it helped me like i understood the like a lot of i i understood that i have undergone a lot of changes throughout the internship because mm-hmm. my like uh, because or th- because of those comments because i was able to understand okay so there are other stuff also if if i am using it as a newbie uh, but i should also research on what are the other uh, available code structures which can be used uh, so that it is uh, better suited to the current uh, code base mm-hmm. so i think sk- skills for me it was development skills and uh, uh, tech tech was also very related to front end and back for me yeah they are very specific about uh, the code we are adding to production like they check it thoroughly and even if a variable name is somewhat they think wrong so they will comment mm-hmm. it out ki you can yes. change it to this name so yeah they are very specific to that and also i would like to ask that what advice you would like to give to students who are aiming for google internship or a full time opportunity at google um yeah so uh, like uh, i'll just say that it's not so difficult as people think uh, mm-hmm. that getting into uh, like uh, cracking a google interview is i i was also very much uh, like i felt that i will not be able to <laughs> qualify even the first round of interview at google but i exceeded my expectations Uh, because like i was able to communicate my thought process well come up with a solution go uh, like then the interview asked me a second question and that also i was able to explain so it is not that hard if you if you have practiced uh, dsa questions enough because the questions may be different from the standard lead code questions but still they have those uh, like the base is the same like it mm. it may either be a back tricking question or yeah. uh, like string question uh, or graph question so the base is the same so if you know the concepts yeah. well even if you will take some time the interviewer will guide you through the process but you will be able to come up with a uh, solution during those uh, yeah. during the interview yeah. time so uh, because the interviewers are also uh, very helpful they understand that if a person has heard this type of problem statement for the first time they will not be able to come up with a solution in one or two minutes they will actually ask more uh, 
push okay. then uh, they will understand they will think about the edge cases then they will uh, like try to speak out the solution which they have in mind then the interviewer will guide, like if the interviewer uh, if you ask the interviewer whether you are thinking in this way so the interviewer may sometimes give you hint okay this is one think about this so this is one thing which you may be missing in your approach so that is what helps to uh, like re- reduce the time uh like taken uh, for uh, deciding which approach should i choose because the interviewer also guides you throughout the way so i i think like uh, dsa is very much important for google interviews uh like since it was an off campus opportunity for me so we did not have an oa round but uh, for most of the other companies which i have seen uh, oa rounds mostly have questions of computer programming uh, like analytical or logical questions they are not so much dsa concept algorithms focused but uh, like it's uh, basically arithmetic uh, approaches to problems but for interviews they generally test uh, your uh, data yes, structure sir. algorithms and uh, also uh, for google we had the recruiter uh, like the phone screening down or the recruiter yeah. screening down so during that the recruiter had uh, asked me questions regarding the language in which i uh, code what are the projects which i have developed what technologies i have used uh, what are the clubs which i am part of in my college technical clubs mm-hmm. and all so uh, overall they test you in all dimensions uh like they also uh, take our transcripts so they can understand which subjects which we have, uh, we have studied and how was our uh, growth over all the subjects um, like during the eight semesters so uh, like during the semesters so basically they test you in all dimensions but the primary focus for google interviews is i would say uh, dsa so if you are good at concept building in uh, dsa and also good at uh, communication uh, and practice with some mock interviews or with your okay. friends then uh, you'll definitely get an edge over uh, others during the interviews i think yeah so yeah if you could go back what one thing you would like to change during your internship um yeah so i uh, uh, initially i ignored uh, those existing docs a little bit i guess because i was like uh, like i should ask questions about this to my host or co-host but afterwards i came to know that uh, i i should i would have to do the research very well on my own about what uh, actually exist in documentation or the internal uh, internals of google uh, google so then right. then only i should approach uh my host or co-host after having a better idea myself yeah. then i'll be able to understand it uh, better so this is the thing i would have uh, changed that i initially only i uh, like i should have understood that i uh, i have to go through all the resources available everywhere uh, yeah. about the uh, project i'm working on and then only uh, uh, document it and then ask more uh, appropriate questions uh so that the uh, so that my host and co-host also can help me well uh to understand like what are the goals of the project and how should i have worked on so that is what i would have changed and um other thing uh yeah so there were a lot of permission errors which were coming i guess for all the interns and we were not able to navigate it uh, because uh, there weren't enough uh, resources so i used to get a lot of uh, like i got very tensed during that time that uh, people had started working and for me like uh, i'm still getting permission uh, errors uh, like uh, on stuff which i'm working on so uh, for for that like uh, i would say that i, sh- I should have kept uh, some patience and uh, reached out to other teams like not only my team i should have reached out to other uh, teams because they had more information um, like uh, around the stuff which i was working on because uh, the front end work which i was doing was actually uh, more related to another team so they had the documentation for their interns about how to get uh, reso- how to resolve those permission errors but they did not have so i should have been more uh, proactive in reaching out to other uh, teams uh, for um, understanding whether uh, they have those uh, like solutions for permission errors other than that like um i got like, time uh, time to time feedback so i was able to work on the stuff uh, which i was lagging behind uh, so uh, it was a uh, nice learning journey for me throughout okay so i think we have covered a lot of things and uh, this will be very insightful for for people watching this so please like share subscribe thanks rishita for coming on our channel and uh, giving us your valuable time thank you